Hey everyone, and welcome back to STEM Edgeer, your source for expanding your imagination and learning all about STEM related topics. If you would like to watch more of my content on STEM Edgeer, remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new STEM Edgeer video. If you also enjoy this video, drop a like down below. Remember, you can also follow us on Twitter by clicking the link in the video description or by going to Twitter and searching for at STEMAGIR. So now on to today's topic. In the modern world, technology has become increasingly more important and our internet use is dependent on something called the cloud. In today's adventure, we will be talking about what the cloud is and why it's important. Let's start today's adventure by explaining what the cloud is. I'm sure you've all heard of the cloud. Wait, not that cloud. The cloud I'm referring to is called cloud computing, also known as the cloud. The cloud is a place where data and apps are stored, managed, and processed. Typically, these places are called data centers. The data and apps are stored on a server which is basically a computer without monitors or keyboards. Because this information sits on a server, we can be able to access this data from anywhere around the world, as long as we have an internet connection. Many companies provide cloud services like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. So now that you know what the cloud is, I'll tell you why it's important in everyday life. So why is the cloud so important, you might wonder? For kids like you and me, there are a lot of advantages of using the cloud. Let's give you an example. Let's say that you store all your files like Excel tables, presentations, and papers on a local computer hard drive. Then one day you accidentally spill your soda on your computer and it damages your hard drive so badly that you can't recover any of your data. So in this example, how would the cloud have helped? Let's imagine you put your files in a cloud service like Google Drive. Even if you spilled your soda on your computer, all your files would have been saved. All you have to do is find a different device, connect to the local internet, and then log into your cloud account like Google Drive. And then you can continue working. Another advantage of the cloud is that it helps you collaborate with people like your classmates. For example, if you're working on a group presentation with your classmates, everyone can look at the presentation and edit live. That means you don't have to email a presentation back and forth to make changes. Businesses also benefit from using the cloud. Instead, to, instead of having to buy and maintaining their own servers, they could just use a cloud service and save some money. And you can also quickly adjust the server space needed. Some companies you're probably familiar with that use cloud services are Samsung, Netflix, Facebook, ESPN, and Twitter, and some mail services like Gmail and Outlook. Thanks for joining me in the STEM and Geo adventure. Remember, if you like this video, then click the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, click the subscribe button. And finally, you can also follow us on Twitter by clicking the link in the video description or by going to Twitter and searching for at Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Stemageer video.